The World Cup is only a few days away. The Stars and Stripes are making their return to the tournament after missing out on it in Russia back in 2018. Joining us to discuss all things footy, that's football to you Americans, is former national team player and U.S. Soccer Hall of Famer, Tab Ramos. Ta Tad, thank you, my man. Look, live, live from the scene right there. I'm loving that background. That's not one of those regular Zoom uh, uh, green screen backgrounds. So let's get into this because you were an assistant under Jurgen Klinsmann back in 2014. That squad mostly consisted of talented veterans like Clint Dempsey and Tim Howard. Now, this is the first time the U.S. is one of the youngest squads in the tournament. So what differences do you see in this year's squad from previous World Cup groups? Yeah, it's a big difference. It's a big difference. No question. This is a young team. Uh, yet it's a very athletic, dynamic team, uh, a team that technically is very good. Uh, and although they are one of the youngest teams and likely the youngest team that, that we've ever had, uh, it's probably the most experienced team that we've ever had at a tournament. Uh, you know, these players, although they're young, they all play on big, big clubs. They play big games every week. Uh, and they should be ready for this. When you talk about what players playing at big clubs, playing in big games, I mean, Christian Pulisic, I'm a Chelsea fan. He's a Chelsea guy. He is arguably the most high-profile player on this squad. So how do you think he's handling the pressure in his first World Cup? Well, I mean, I think it remains to be seen because the pressure, we're going to see how the players handle it once they start kicking a ball. Um, you know, the, the fact is... This team needs Christian Pulisic, who is the best player. They need for him to be the best player. Uh, you know, Christian has not, I believe, been on his best over the last year and a half or two with the national team. And I think this is a great moment for him to shine. All right, Christian has to shine. And you mentioned some other players that have uh, big club experience, like guys like Weston McKinney and Brendan Aronson. So who on this squad do you think, outside of Christian Pulisic, will make the biggest impact? Yeah, I, you know, I think there's two players who have been making a big impact for this team already, and one being Anthony Robinson, and the other one, the other one being Yunus Musa in, in the middle of the field. Obviously, uh, Weston McKinney, uh, Tyler Adams are two guys in the middle of the field who the team is counting on, guys who are fairly consistent from game to game and who make this team better. And then it'll be up to, you know, the guys that have been coming in and out. As you mentioned, you know, uh, Aronson has been doing well. Gio Reyna from time to time, although he's dealing with injuries. If they can get Gio Reyna healthy, they can get Aronson in, in good form as he is. Tim Weah, if he can be around the box where he can score, I think this team will be really, really dangerous. Dangerous, young, talented, experienced. But people are saying we're also thin in several key spots, such as striker and center back. So are these some legitimate worries, or do you think this team can overcome its shortcomings? Uh, it's, there's no question. We're worried. I think everyone should be worried. We, you know, we have not played with a center forward. We have that position that is not covered at this point. If you were to ask a lot of people who's going to play that number nine, that center forward role in a game three days from now, uh, you'd get a lot of different answers. And I think that's not necessarily a good thing in such an important position. Same with the two guys in the back. I think it's likely that Zimmerman and Tim Ream will play those positions. You know, Zimmerman hasn't played a, a game in a month. Uh, Tim Ream has, but he hasn't been with the team for over a year. So, you know, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of questions in important positions, but I think, I think we can overcome that. All right, we talked about the players. Let's talk about the coach. Coach Greg Berhalter, the head coach of the national team, has been heavily criticized over his tactics and team selections in the past. That being said, pragmatic styles often lead to results in the World Cup. So what are your thoughts on coach heading into the tournament? I think there's no reason to criticize uh, Greg Berhalter on, the, on this election. You know, I think, you know, we, there's 26 players uh, that, that, that are coming here. He chose 26. The reality is that the, the bottom five or six players will not play a minute at this World Cup. So for us to complain and argue about who could have made it instead of someone else, I think, you know, we have to give Greg a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. He's trying to create a group, trying to create a culture. And some of those guys at the end of the roster sometimes make the team because they're better teammates than they're necessarily the best player at a certain position. Uh, and so that's important. The, the fact is, though, we still have to worry about the way we play. This team has not convinced us, has not had uh, a consistent style over the last two years. And I think we should worry a little bit more about that. 
All right, let's worry about them showing consistency in Group B, which is what they were drawn in. They've been drawn into a very difficult group. I mean, England, three, which three Lions, uh, Wales, Iran. Each team kind of gives its own unique challenge. So will the U.S. make it out of this group and why? If I had to answer in one word, I would say yes. Uh, and the reason is we, we are a better team than Wales, and we're a better team than Iran. I mean, you can lose to any team on any day, but the fact is, like, go, you know, you analyze the teams player by player. We we have better players than Wales, and if you analyze this against Iran, uh, it's the same case, position by position. We are much better than Iran is. I think obviously England should be the favorite in the group. They have the best team, and I think that's where we need our American grit to to grind out a result. But uh, but other than that, we we should get out of this group. All right, Tab, the U.S. kicks off their first game Monday versus Wales at 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock our time, not your time. But, Tab, thank you for your time and, uh, and joining us today. Thanks for having me on.